it's the dark knight back at you with another video and today i'm gonna make a video on monarch gear and show you some of the stuff you need to know about it so um first of all these are your monarch gear you can change them out by hit clicking on the one you want and hitting confirm it tells you up here in the green uh what that thing that particular monarch gear does and then once you have six on there set up the way that you want them um then you come over here i'm going to point right next to it so you can see where i'm pointing there's like a little shirt you click on that and then you can make a new combination by clicking on add new combination typing in the name clicking on the symbol you want and hitting save or if you want to edit an existing combination, you click on the combination you want to edit, hit edit, and then hit save. Um, and then when you want to um, put a new combination on, you click on the combination and then click equipped. Now, um, keep in mind that when you're saving or editing combinations, you might think that you have to click on the combination first and then hit edit. Um, That'll save whatever is right now on your screen. You have to first switch out whatever you want to switch out and then come over here, click on the one you want to change, hit edit and hit save, and then it will save whatever's on the screen. Same with making a new combination. Put together the combination first, then come over here, add new combination, put the title in, and hit save. Now, um, the other main thing you need to know about Monarch Gear is coming down here at the bottom right hand corner there's a thing that says gear you would click on that and this shows you all the gear that's available uh, for the first piece the second piece and there's obviously six pieces here and you can compose lower level gear to make higher level gear um, you do that by I'm going to show you an example. Let's say I want to compose the construction. It will show the green arrow. So you come here and hit compose at the bottom. You click on the, the level one, hit compose, then hit compose all, slide it over, compose all, slide it over. And now I have two level fives. If I get one more level five, I'll have a level six. And then once you get the level six, you want to update it on here to the level six one and then save your new combination with the level six um, obviously this is a new account on a new server as I mentioned in other videos so I still have some level five equipment I have a couple level sixes and even a level seven um, really you want to at least get to seven or eight um, eventually it takes a long time but uh, you know if you have level five and six that's pretty decent at least to, as a start on a new server so but you want to get these the higher the level obviously the higher the buff but really you want to um, make combinations that help you for whatever you're doing and that way you can easily switch so right now I'll show you what combinations I have I have a combination for monster hunting I call it monster gear and basically that that combination gives me uh, mounted troop attack uh, mounted troop hit point and mounted troop defense and then march speed to monsters, healing speed if I have wounded, and then ore production, which I leave it on ore production all the time because I need ore to build all my mounted troops. Now, I also have one for mounted PvP. The difference in this one, there's only two differences. I have regular march speed instead of march speed to monsters, and then instead of healing speed, I have this debuff, the Eris Globus Cruciger, uh, regardless of what troops I'm attacking because I don't know what necessarily... I may attack several people, so I don't want it to just be ranged or ground or mounted. This is enemy troop attack. It means no matter what troop I'm attacking, it's going to debuff it by 8%. Um, and then, especially if you're attacking a keep that has all four troop types. Now, that's my mounted PvP. And then undead, honestly, um, this is basically a defense combination. You could use it for undead. You could use it just for defense. But I have healing speed for uh, undead invasion. Then I have the regular mounted troop attack instead of marching mounted troop attack. That's important. 
regular mounted troop hit point, mounted troop defense. And then this one, I mean, it's undead, it's defense. So I just did march size capacity for reinforcing, I guess. But none of these other things really are going to do you any good during undead. And then uh, ore production as always. And then I have the siege PvP. Um, that's self-explanatory. It's the same as the mounted PvP except with siege equipment. Uh, now, normally you want to have a ranged and a ground combination. I haven't even begun to build those troops yet. It's a new account. I've just focused on mounted troops and a little bit of siege. But um, that's just because I'm mainly doing monster hunting right now. It's a new server. I do do PvP, but my mounted troops are good enough for that right now at the moment. But eventually, obviously, you do want ranged and ground troops and have a combination for each of those. So... Uh, you can easily switch. So honestly, um, you you want to switch your monet combination every time you're doing something different. And that's why you just quickly switch here. And then another thing that you want to switch is the um, this crown right here, depending on what you're doing. This is the one you're probably going to switch the most. Because if you're healing, you want to use the healing speed. If you're researching, you want to switch to the research just by hitting confirm or construction, hit confirm, or crafting, or training. So honestly, you're going to be switching between these five all the time. So every time I'm about to do something, unless I forget, and you know, don't worry if you forget, we always forget, it's, it's a game, um, but try to switch the crown every time depending on what you're doing. Especially, it's not really a big deal for the healing and the training because I tend to get so many of those speed ups anyway, I don't really ever lose them. Crafting, yeah, I mean, it's a big deal to switch it. But really, the construction and the research, those two, you have to remember to switch it. Because when you're talking about upgrades that take thousands of days at K35, um, yeah, that extra 26%, that's taking a quarter of that time. So a thousand days is now 750 days. That's a huge difference. And research, it may not seem like a big deal on the small stuff, but when you start seeing research stuff that's, you know, 20 days or 40 days or whatever, um, or longer, yeah, that's going to make a difference. So make sure you're switching the crown every time you're doing something, and then switch it back before you do something else. So that's basically Monarch Gear. If you have any questions, or if you have an idea for a video, please Put it in the comments and also please subscribe. Thank you for your support. Hope you all have a good day. We'll see you in the next video.